everyone, it's Friday and I am on my way to go work at the store. Um, it is extremely hot today. My car temperature says 97 outside. Um, and that is the first day of fall, which is a little bit unusual around here, but not unheard of. Um, we have some great weather forecasted for like the next week or so, which is really nice. Um, I was thinking today, since it was the first day of fall, or right around the first day of fall, it reminded me that um, I am now starting my third year on oxygen. So in other words, um, two years ago, in September of 2015, is when I went into the hospital and was in the intensive care unit um, for congestive heart failure. Um, I had already been diagnosed with pulmonary arterial hypertension and um, also COPD. I was being treated by a regular heart doctor, which obviously in hindsight turned out to be the wrong move on my part. Um, I really should have seen a specialist from the very beginning, a pH specialist. Um, but in any case, uh, yeah, this reminded me that um, I'm starting my third year and that two years ago, right around um, today, I wasn't even sure if I would be alive in the next um, two to three years. So. Um, I am happy to say I am still here. Yay! And I feel like I'm doing quite well. Um, I'm not my old normal, but um, my new normal is um, active and out doing stuff all the time, um, which I really did not think when, when I even first thought about the concept of going on oxygen, I thought that I would never leave my house. Um, but it's amazing what a stay in the ICU can do and you think that you may not live anymore. So then um, it's funny how your mind can suddenly wrap its, its, your brain around um, something else that you thought you could never go with. Suddenly I was just happy to be alive and it didn't even matter if I was going to be on oxygen or not. Um, so even though I would prefer not to be, um, I am happy to be here and happy to be able to do all the things that I am still doing. As a matter of fact, we just started planning for our next vacation. We are going to return again to Key West. It was so amazing there um, that we want to take my daughter and her new husband and go have like a family trip there. Um, I think they would absolutely love it and um, the cottage we stayed in was big enough for all of us. It had two bedrooms and um, I don't know, I think it's going to be an amazing time. So I'm happy to say that, yeah, we started planning for that. Um, we are starting to book our reservations and um, get the flight stuff aligned and um, we're going to be doing it in one of the coldest months here um, so it'll be a fantastic break from the weather and it should be in the 70s almost 80 degrees there when we go so um, I'm super excited about that um, so yeah it's I I like the hot weather so I'm always excited to go someplace where it's gonna be warmer than where we're at Right now, though, it's kind of ironic that it is warmer here than it is in Key West, so um, it's kind of funny, but uh, yeah, so I just wanted to do this short, quick video um, kind of as a, a way to say that it's amazing how fast time goes by, like that I am even starting in my third year of being on oxygen. and the last two years were actually a blur. I mean, we have been on like eight trips in the past two years um, to all different places and um, 
you know, we, it hasn't slowed us down and life is still moving at the speed of light. And um, most of the time I feel very good. Um, some days I feel amazing and there are some days when I'm just tired and draggy and that it's hard to breathe. But all in all, um, yeah, it's, it's still a good life. So um, I was just... I guess kind of looking back um, and just again astounded by how fast time flies. So um, as a reminder, you always want to use every bit of time that you have that you can because you never know what's coming next and it's amazing how fast things go. So. Um, you know, you try to slow it down and take every day to where you appreciate the day that you have and um, just all the details of it and take it all in and soak it all up. And then, so at the end of the day, you can look back and say, yeah, that was another good day. And I often have those and it keeps me happy and makes me happy. So, um, yeah, that's that's my message for today. Try to stay happy and be happy. <laughs> but, okay, well, um, I'm almost there and I'm going to get ready to get to work. And um, I hope you guys have an amazing day. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.